Alright, so in this video we're going to talk about what you can do when you have a solved Roblox as a CFOP solver. And the main reason for this video is kind of related to a video I made previously on method neutrality and what I consider the worst way to do it, which I believe is doing CFOP and Roo. And I explained why in that video, you can go watch that in your own time. Um, but for now, I'm just going to be showing you two examples of how you can turn a Roo block into a very nice CFOP solve, assuming you are able to make it into an XX cross, which usually you will be. And there's two ways you can do it as well. So if one option doesn't work, chances are the other one will. And this is, of course, assuming you're color neutral. Now, for those of you who are interested in method neutrality, you should also probably be interested in color neutrality, because what's the point of being able to do all these methods if you can't solve on other colors with the same method? I don't know, it doesn't really make sense to me personally. But anyways, let's get into some of these examples. So for this first one, we've got this big Roo block here, one by two by three. And what I'm gonna be doing is doing an X cross, XX cross on the bottom. So the way you do that, I mean, they're both on the bottom, obviously, with the Roo block on bottom, I should say, like this. So the idea is pretty simple. You want to, firstly, you want to solve, not solve the cross, but get the cross edges solved. So like that, that's the first step. The second step is you want the XX cross to be a D2 away from solved, kind of like that. And then the last thing you need to account for, and sometimes you won't even be able to do this, which is why we have the second option here, is you need to make sure that the edges that make up the XX cross, so in this case, we've got this big orange line here on the block, therefore we want our orange F12 edges, which are these two. You want to make sure that you can do them with keyhole and that they're not stuck in, like, this, either of, like, the red slots, and if they're stuck in a red slot, you're going to want to try the other XX cross approach. But here we're fine, we can do something like this to get keep the edges in the U-layer if we want, or we could just do this, and it's really not that bad either. And then all we've got to do to get an XX cross is just keyhole these orange edges in, and we can do that very easily. You can do this one, cancel into that one there, wide U2, and then you've got your last two pairs ready to go here, and then you can just do them, and then you're good to go. Okay, so that's the first example. Now here we have this second example, and um, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna make it something where you can't do that keyhole type stuff. So let's, let's pretend that we have something like this as our scramble. So if we wanna do a keyhole XX cross, well, this edge gets stuck here, and then, I mean, this one's still in the U layer, but it's it's not necessarily a great scenario, so what can we do instead? Well, what we can do is we can make an XX cross on yellow by keeping this Roo block in the typical Roo position and simply solve our three yellow edges. Now, here we don't have the greatest case. We have one edge solved here and this one's gonna go in fine, but this one's stuck. But again, just for demonstration purposes, I'll show you. Uh, if anything, this is probably an example of where you'd wanna do keyhole because flipping this edge isn't as bad as I might have thought. Um, if the edge was stuck like here for example then it'd be really bad to try and do a keyhole XX cross because we have something like this. So anyways what we do we just solve our edges. I'm going to start with this orange one here and then we can solve these two in either order doesn't really matter. Um, could do something like if you want to get a little fancy you could do this to move this edge here, move this to the left so you have these two in a line, and then do something like that to give you the XX cross. Um, so the idea is you're basically just trying to play around with wide moves, and in doing that you should be able to get a, maybe not an efficient XX cross in terms of move count, but as far as speed efficiency goes, you're going to be way, um, you're going to be well off because you're doing mostly two gen type stuff just like you do with Roo. So that's it guys, that's the video. That's how you can deal with scrambles that have a Roo block solved. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you think these approaches compare to doing just a normal Roo solve if you happen to be method neutral, because when you think about it, the steps are basically solved Roo block, and then you've got two options. So you can do Roo block, second block, CML, LSE, or you could do Roo block, XX cross, last two pairs, OLL, PLL. Um, 
And of course, if you, even if you are method neutral, you're probably better at one method than the other. Let's be real. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about all that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.